Hi everyone. This video is not about COVID-19 legislation, but instead it is about the delegitimization of dissenting opinions through bullying, harassment and intimidation. Yesterday, on the 8th of May 2021, the journal.ie published an article which seeks to demonise former TV3 presenter Ashley O'Loughlin for her opinions and questions in relation to COVID-19. To begin with, it is worth noting that this article mentions the word conspiracy 17 times in order to fill the void where the evidence lacks. The article written by Stephen McDermott suggests that when one speaks about equality around vaccines, questioning the benefits of COVID-19 vaccines, asks for the opinions of others, uses phrases such as my body, my choice, expresses concern as a parent in a calm voice and supports choice and understanding, that one is using a form of manipulation to present the illusion of balance. The article also suggests an overlap between natural health and wellness instead of pharmaceuticals and the anti-vaccination movement, with an underlying insinuation being that anyone who supports natural health and immunity is a conspiracy theorist. To be fair, the article would be funny if it wasn't so sinister. Over the past 18 months, Activist journalists, the majority of whom seem to have a left-leaning political persuasion, have been a true enemy of the ordinary man and woman of Ireland. They have created an environment that is hostile to people who seek to voice their honest opinions and concerns, and in my view have presented dissenting opinion in the worst possible way in an effort to cause harm to those who speak out. This article written by Stephen McDermott not only seeks to damage the reputation of a popular television presenter, but also wishes to send a message to others. A message of caution for those who dare to speak out. In my opinion, Stephen McDermott and indeed many of his colleagues in media want you to know that should you articulate any hesitancy around the COVID-19 vaccine, whether as a concerned parent or simply to express the right to control over your own body, you will become the subject of a character assassination and vilified for doing so. The media and the state have become one over the past 18 months and we have nothing remotely resembling an inquisitive or balanced media anymore. The overarching aim of fear-induced control requires that no dissenting views or debates can take place. If you can only get people to submit to your way of thinking by threatening them, and let's be under no illusion that this article is a form of threat to anyone who might express a dissenting view to the COVID-19 narrative, the next question should be, who are the real fascists? To conclude, I and many others share the following sentiment. There is no amount of bullying, intimidation or harassment from a biased media that will deter or persuade those of us who truly value freedom to remain silent. Thanks for listening.